Hello, I am with uh, Douglas Van Praet, founder of the Unconscious Branding Market Consultancy, author of an excellent book on unconscious branding. Uh, Douglas, thank you for joining us for this conversation. Thank you for having me. Um, Douglas, let's start with basic things. Uh, what is neuromarketing for you? It's a good question because I'm not sure we all agree on a definition. In my opinion, it's been somewhat narrowly defined as the study of advertising reaction using things like biometrics and brain scans. And to me, that feels somewhat narrow. You know, I, I like to take a wider view. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's more the application of, of cognitive science to business challenges. And you're, you're talking about the insights, the, the scientific findings, and then apply them. Is, is that... Yeah, exactly. Is that you know, and I, I, I often say, you know, no one has to do brain scans to do neuromarketing in the sense that there are human insights that we can discover and we can apply to business challenges, to creative development, to marketing in general, and they're pan-cultural. You know, in marketing, we're always trying to find out very specific insights among an audience, with human insights, they, you know, they're like stock features of a car. Everyone has them, you yeah. know. Uh, it, it comes from the factory, from birth. We have these uh, insights into our, our mind and our nature that everyone reliably shares. So when you can understand the humanity below the culture, you understand the whole consumer. You know, right now I think marketers are experts in culture and we forget that the genes hold culture on a leash if i can mm -hmm. quote eo e. wilson who's an american biologist so when you know the foundational understanding of human behavior and you know the cultural understanding you have the full view oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great point it's a, it's a nice view to 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 add up those very important elements sure yeah, yeah. good um Douglas, what are the complexities of neuromarketing? Well, the complexity is, you know, the essence of neuromarketing is to understand what often is said the most complex object in the known universe, mm. you know. They, they say there's nothing more complex known to man than, than the human brain. And the, the interesting thing about the human brain is it is, uh, it's, it contains distinct drives that don't necessarily agree with each other. So. We, we, we're not a single person, we're a unified we, you know, we have these, it's, you know, a, a neuro, um, an evolutionary psychologist once told me it's kind of like apps on a smartphone, you know, a smartphone has all these different applications, they run independently, and they don't always have awareness of each other, you yeah. know, and to simplify that, if you just look at the brain as a three-part brain, yeah. the triune brain, which yeah. has been around for over half a century, you know, there's these evolutionary layers on top of each other. You have the, the, the physical reptilian brain, the limbic system, and then the neocortex. And, you know, it's the lower feeling brains that drive our behavior, but you can see all the distinct brain systems in play. Um, and, and, you know, there's a tussle between those drives. So that, that complexity is we, we have to understand all these distinct drives. Some of these drives are unconscious. And oftentimes when you're asking consumers, they don't understand drives that are unconscious because they're, they're hidden below the surface. So it's, it's an inherently complex thing, and I think the tools to measure that are works in progress because the brain is a work in progress. Good, good, good. Um, and talking about the, the uh, neuromarketing projects, what are the ways, the way or the ways to measure successful, the, the, the success of neuromarketing projects? Yeah, it's, well, it's a good question. What is neuromarketing? Because, you know, I've, uh, I've studied micro, micro expressions of emotion using Paul Ekman's work, you know. So when I do focus groups, for instance, I've always learned to, to pick up the subtleties that might not have, you know, been obvious to me in the past having not studied his work. And you can argue that I'm doing neuromarketing because I'm reading your expressions and, and I'm, I'm not doing brain scans. So it's, it's, 
the body, because the body is the unconscious mind, I think a, a lot of the misconceptions about the unconscious and the mind is that it's the brain. Well, it's not. It's the somatic markers of the body. Your body communicates to your brain via what Antonio Damasio called somatic markers. So you walk in your backyard and you, you see a snake and all of a sudden your heart's beating. It's the brain's awareness of your body that creates the, the knowledge that I have a feeling. And then you say, oh, it's just a garden hose. And that's the slow you know, brain, the rational brain saying, oh, oh, it's, 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 it's okay. So the rational brain is very much more the mind or the head and the unconscious feeling brain is very much the body.